The Lenovo Legion Pro gaming smartphone is one of the most unique gaming phones I have ever seen. But how does it stack up against the incredible iPhone 11 Pro Max in a speed test? Well, the Lenovo comes paired with Qualcomm's latest Snapdragon 865 Plus processing chip, while the iPhone comes with the A13 Bionic chip. We have four gigs of RAM, LPDDR4X on the iPhone, as opposed to LPDDR5 RAM, which is eight gigs on the Legion Pro. And we have NVMe on the iPhone, as opposed to UFS 3.1 storage on the Lenovo. The Lenovo has 144 hertz and we are capped to 60 hertz on the iPhone over here. We're going to be using the game launcher on the Legion Phone Pro and we have disabled all battery optimizations and we've left animations on on the Lenovo because there's no way of completely disabling it on the iPhone. Round one will be all about boot, fingerprint and face unlock. Round two about initial opening of app speed and round three will be all about RAM management. We're going to be using my fingers here so to keep things accurate we're going to pop GoPro for just the bottom left hand corner. This is Technic and without further ado, let's go! We're going to start here with a simple boot. You can see the Lenovo is stuck to landscape. That's how they want you to use the phone. But we'll switch over to portrait in a second. 15 seconds for the boot on the Lenovo as opposed to 27 on the iPhone getting its first point there. Though the iPhone quickly snapped back with its first point when refreshing app icons when first going into the phone. Comparing the optical fingerprint sensor under the screen of the Lenovo to Face ID 3D Face Unlock on the iPhone. The Lenovo was quicker the first time, quicker the second time. And let's check what happens with the third time. It was quicker the third time as well, getting it its second and final point in Round one. So three wins for the Lenovo there when it comes to unlocking your device as opposed to zero on the iPhone. Now for round two, making sure that all apps in the background have been closed and that we are on the same Wi-Fi network. Going into our first app is indeed the camera app. One of the phones opened the app up quicker, the other one loaded the page quicker, so no point was allocated. Flipping to the selfie cam, 11 Pro Max was quicker and taking the snap, the iPhone actually took it quicker, but the Lenovo saved it to the gallery quicker, so no point was allocated over there. Going into the photos app, the Legion Pro took it, but opening up the photo, neither of them got a point because it was too close to call. Going into the calculator app, the Legion grabbed its second point over there. And next system app that we have is indeed the phone app, which was too close to call once more. Last system app that we have is indeed settings. And going into it, the Legion grabs its third point over there as opposed to one point on the iPhone. Now four points for the Legion after opening up speed check and internet speed test. We're not going to be checking out download upload speeds over here, but more so how long it takes to run through the test. So for the Lenovo, we got 22 seconds. Now testing out the iPhone. We have sped things up bottom right hand corner if you haven't noticed that. 23 seconds on the iPhone. So now the Lenovo grabbed its fifth point in round two as opposed to one on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Next app that we're going into is a music app being Spotify. The iPhone 11 Pro Max opens that one up quicker, getting it at second point over there and going into Photoshop Express, which one is going to take it? It was too close to call there with their different animations. Going into the photo though, the Lenovo Legion Phone Pro grabbed its sixth point. And now we're going to go ahead and save the photo to gallery and the Legion Phone saves it to gallery slightly quicker. It's set at the bottom of the screen as opposed to the iPhone saying saving to gallery at the top of the screen. Going into a video editing app over here being Adobe Rush, the Lenovo opened up the app quicker and it was too close to call when going into the project. Now we're going to go ahead and export this 4K 25 frames per second, compress it down to 1080p at 25 frames per second matching the frame rate and hit export over there. We sped things up bottom right hand corner once more just by 200% this time around. But the iPhone did it in six seconds with its incredible NVMe storage. It doesn't seem like Android phones even with the latest UFS 3.1 storage can beat it. 15 seconds for the Lenovo over there getting the iPhone its third point in round two. Going into Astral VPN, the iPhone opened it up quicker and turning it on. The Lenovo turned it on quicker since we still had a little loading animation in the center of the screen on the iPhone. So nine points for the Lenovo as opposed to four on the iPhone and the iPhone opened up Facebook and loaded the entire page quicker than that of the Lenovo getting it its fifth point. Now just four points behind that of the Lenovo. Going into Instagram though, the Legion phone opened that one up quicker getting it 10 points now going into double digits. Double the points of the iPhone as well. And next up here is Twitter. Once again, the Lenovo grabs its next Next point there being its 11th point, iPhone is still stuck on five points. Going into YouTube, which is our next app over here, the Lenovo Legion Phone Pro grabs its 12th point, iPhone still stuck on five points. Jumping into my profile over here, let's see which one can get to that quicker than the other one. Let's see which one can do it. And it seems like it is heading to the Lenovo once more. And going into the actual video, once again, the Lenovo Legion Phone Pro grabs its next point, being its 14th point, almost 10 points ahead of that of the iPhone 11 Pro Max for a fraction of the price. 
I might add. Next app that we have here is another video media app going into Netflix over here. The Legion Pro, no surprise, open that one up quicker and going into my profile. No surprise, once more, the Lenovo grabbed its 16th point. Now more than 10 points ahead of the iPhone 11 Pro Max, 11 to be precise. 12 now ahead of the iPhone after opening up Google Chrome, 17 points now for the Lenovo as opposed to five on the iPhone. Going into a game called Subway Surfers over here, our first of four games, which one can open it up quicker? iPhone is known to open up games quick, but the Lenovo surprisingly grabs its 18th point, opening up Subway Surfers slightly quicker than that of the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Next game that we have here, third last game, third last app of the 20 is Flip Diving, and which one can open this one up quicker? It seems like the Lenovo is just going absolutely bonkers over here with 19 points as opposed to five on the iPhone. Next app that we have here, next game, second last one is indeed the Legion Phone Pro. 20 points, opening up Temple Run 2 slightly faster than that of the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Now we're gonna go ahead and going into our last game is going to be PUBG Mobile. A lot longer to load than previous games that we have gone into. So I've sped things up, bottom right hand corner once more. Going into it, iPhone is pretty much unbeatable in this respect, 13.5 seconds as opposed to 15 seconds on the Lenovo, getting the iPhone its sixth and final points in round two, as opposed to 20 points on the Lenovo, which absolutely dominates it in round two. Going into RAM management, which is indeed round three over here, neither of them have kept any apps open yet and the iPhone just kept up the phone app open with four gigs of RAM, half the amount of RAM as opposed to the Lenovo and LPDDR4X RAM as opposed to the LPDDR5 RAM on the Lenovo. Each of them have kept one app open where the other one has killed it and now the iPhone kept up Photoshop Express and Adobe Rush in the background where the Lenovo killed it. And the iPhone just picked up its fourth point and our fifth point with Instagram, sixth point with Twitter. The Lenovo just keeps killing these apps. Seventh point now after going into YouTube, after jumping into Netflix, both of them killed that app. And now we have Google Chrome, which both of them seem to keep open. It's just surprising that the iPhone is keeping all these apps open while the Lenovo is killing it. But it's no surprise here to see that the Lenovo is actually keeping all the games open. But in my previous speed test, the Lenovo killed all of them. Very strange RAM management here with Lenovo. And we did turn all battery optimizations off. Nevertheless, total score over here, we have 23 points for the Lenovo Legion Phone Pro Gaming Smartphone as opposed to 14 on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. However, if we look at just raw speed, we got 20 points for the Lenovo Legion Pro in round two as opposed to six in round two for the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Very interesting test this is since the Lenovo is so much cheaper than the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Let me know what you guys thought of this video. This is Technic and I'll see you in the next one.